Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and in today's lecture we will discuss basic security for Windows operating system. After going through this lecture, the learner shall be able to implement privacy enhancement settings in Windows 10, know about security in Windows operating system, learn the technique for avoiding malware on Windows and implement Windows full disk encryption with BitLogger. Microsoft Windows is the world's most used consumer operating system. If you are using Windows, there is a chance you did not even choose it, but it was simply the system that was already installed when you brought your computer. Windows is considered a standard in many Office environments as is some other Microsoft softwares such as Microsoft Office. Some common and specialized software is only available for Windows. The popularity of Windows also makes it a target for malware. The majority of new malware targets vulnerabilities and insecure user practices on the Windows operating system. Windows is a closed source operating system. This means that the source code of the system cannot be reviewed or verified by users or the security community. The security guarantees made by Microsoft can only be taken at face value as they cannot be independently audited. This lecture provides some tips on how to secure your Windows operating system, Windows 10. Most instructions also apply to Windows 7 or 8.1. However, the exact appearance or titles may be slightly different. Where significant differences for earlier versions exist, we will discuss version specific sections. Alternatives to Windows Many people may not even know that there are alternatives to Windows. Mac is the line of computers manufactured exclusively by Apple and running their own operating system called Mac OS X. Then there is a Unix like family of operating system of which Linux is the most well known. These are free and open source operating systems which can be distributed freely and with source code which can be independently audited or modified by anyone. There are many flavors of GNU Linux. Some popular ones include Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, and Mint. GNU Linux can run on most computers which operates Microsoft Windows. Windows communicates information from your computer back to Microsoft and other servers which can violate the privacy of the user. To limit Though not eliminate these communications, there are some configuration options you can select. The process will be different if you are installing a new copy of Windows on a computer or if you are working on a computer with Windows already installed. So we will first discuss how to select privacy protection options when installing Windows. The first step is while installing Windows, you will be asked to accept express settings which contains the most invasive Microsoft selected settings to send personal data to the company and its advertising partners. Instead of accepting express setting, click custom settings. Please note that you may make your own decision on each of the options that we are going to cover based on your own comfort level, trading privacy and functionality. We will provide our suggestions for the best privacy and security. The second step is on the first customized settings screen, click on all options so that they will turn to off. Third step is click next to move to the next customized settings screen. And the fourth step is on the second customized settings screen, there is an option called use smartphone online service to help protect against malicious contents and downloads in sites loaded by Windows browsers and store apps. Activate it as it will enhance security. For the remaining options, click on the tab to change them to off. Step 5. Click next and continue with Windows installation. If you already have Windows installed, you can select privacy protection options 
through the following steps. Step 1. Select settings through the main windows menu bar as shown in the screen. Step 2. Click privacy through your settings screen. Through the following tabs, you can configure your settings to enhance your privacy. First is general tab. Step 1. To limit the amount of data collected by third parties, click on all the buttons to turn them off. The second step is to limit personal ads on browsers, click the message by Microsoft advertising and other personalization info link under the privacy options. This will direct you to Microsoft's personalized ads website. Step 3. Click the button under personalized ads in the browser to turn it off. Step 4. Click the button under personalized ads wherever I use my Microsoft account to turn it off. Now we'll discuss about location tab. The first step is click the button under the location to turn it off. This prevents third parties from collecting location data. Step 2. Scroll down to the location history section of the location settings. Click the clear button to clear your device history. Step 3. Scroll further down to configure the location access that apps can have through your device. To limit the access of these apps to your location data, click on their respective buttons to turn them off. Now let us see how we can configure camera tab to enhance our security settings. Step 1. Click the button under let apps use my camera to turn it off. Step 2. To restrict apps from assessing your camera, click on their respective buttons to turn them off. Now let us see how microphone tab can be securely configured. Step 1. Click the button under let apps use my microphone to turn it off. Step 2. To restrict apps from assessing your microphone, click on their respective buttons to turn them off. Speech, thinking and typing tab. Step 1. To limit Microsoft from collecting information like your contacts, typing history, calendar events, speech, and handwriting patterns, do not click on get to know me button and ensure that any eventual dials on this screen are turned off. Account info tab. Step 1. Click the button under the let apps access my name, picture, and other account info to turn it off and to limit apps from accessing your account information. Context tab. Step 1. To restrict apps from assessing your contacts, click on their respective buttons to turn them off. Calendar tab. Step 1. Click the button under the let apps use my calendar to turn it off. Step 2. To restrict apps from assessing your calendar, click on their respective buttons to turn them off. Call history tab. Step 1. Click the button under the let apps use my call history to turn it off. Step 2. To restrict apps from assessing your call history, click on their respective buttons to turn them off. Email tab. Click the button under the let apps access and send email to turn it off. Step 2. To restrict apps from accessing and sending email, click on their respective buttons to turn them off. Messaging tab. Step 1. Choose apps that can read or send messages by clicking on their respective buttons to turn them on or off. Radio tab. Step 1. Click the button under the let apps control radios to turn it off. Other devices tab. Step 1. To prevent your apps from automatically sharing and syncing information with other wireless devices, 
click the button to turn it off. Feedback and Diagnostic tab. Here you can choose how and whether you would like to send device feedback back to Microsoft Windows for diagnostics. We recommend choosing that you should never be asked for feedback and sending basic diagnostic information. Background apps. Here you can choose which apps you want to run in the background, receiving information, sending notification and staying up to date. To disable apps from running in the background, click on their respective buttons to turn them off. We recommend switching all or as many as you can of the apps off. You can start by switching all of them off and then attend to those which need to be switched on. In this lecture, we will discuss how to implement privacy enhancing settings in Windows 10 operating system. In the next lecture, we will discuss about security settings in Windows operating system and learn the techniques for avoiding malware on Windows. Thank you.